Hey guys and welcome to the second Terminus base tours and patch notes. Every week I'm inviting a guest to discuss the bases with me and this week I invited Banana Duck. So let's go ahead and look at some of the bases you guys built. Patch notes will be after the base tours. Join my Discord to socialize with other players, keep up with the latest news or if you're in need of an admin. The link will be in the description. Alright, first base of the wipe. We have uh, actually two bases that are forged together. Forged by that nice long shaft in the middle. I don't think they finished this base because as you can see there on the staircase there it should be something going up. It's going up indeed. It looks like a penis. Let's not lie. It looks like a, a testicular sack at the back with a long shaft and a rather prominent tip, should we say. Yeah. <laughs> so, but in all seriousness, it looks, it looks like a dick, doesn't it? I, I don't know. I don't want to speculate on that. But what we're seeing here is two bases. And the base to the left you might recognize from the first uh, base tour that we did two weeks ago. And I think it's the same owners. I don't know. But it was cool that I actually made it into two bases this time. Like their fences, didn't they? Mm -hmm. The defenses. <laughs> 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 it does look like a dick though, to be fair. <laughs> Psychiatrists know, hate me, and they show those ink blots. It looks like a dick. <laughs> uh, this looks like a spiky dick. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> this base is specifically chosen to be in the video because of the barricade around it. They used literally everything they had and could find. As you can see, there is barrels. Or barrels. There, there is uh, furnaces, there is uh, stone barricades, there is everything. Just Even call it chests. junk. Just Eat. call it junk. It looks like a fucking Jippo's yard. It looks like that guy who picks his ear and eats it. He's just thrown everything in his back garden. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> agree. It looks like 90% uh, of uh, the population of England's backyard. Oh, thank God I'm not English. <laughs> Indeed it does. <laughs> All right, moving on. This one has nothing specific except for a cool airlock and uh, that is divided into two bases. The top is a base and the bottom is a base and they have a cool shooting floor. I think it's crap, to be honest. Mm. I don't really see that much remarkable about it. It's got a square top with a weird bottom. It's not very penis shaped. That, that upsets me. Well, it is long and it's tall, so. It's got a big gap. Is it a girl's base? I have no idea who lives in this base. I, I don't want to go into the bases when I'm doing these because some people build bases and they, they do want to keep it secret. Why is there blood on the front door? Oh no, it's just, <laughs> it's just sand. Okay, here we're coming to the airlock and uh, that's an airlock that leads to <clears throat> nothing. A dump chest. So they go yep. in there and then put things through the fucking shop window. Weird. And then, um, yeah, and then they walk around out with everything. Alright, the next base here is specifically chosen for Banana Duck, and uh, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> now that's some pride. I love Mr. T. Alright, the next base is uh, just a tower base, but this base is in the video because it shows you what you can do. This is probably more than more most people would do in vanilla, but if you're dedicated on a hard-to-farm server like Terminus, you can actually make a base like this. There's more doors than Ikea, to be honest. It really is, but I Look like how them. they used the, the stuff that they found. Like, they have a chain link fence on the side, they have a shop front on the front. Yeah. Hence the name. And they're growing hemp. <laughs> Look at all the shop windows, Jesus. Yeah, they're That's really, all right. They really want to see their surroundings. Yeah, I, I like that. It's a bit like Ron Weasley's house, but still. <laughs> and it's slightly penis shaped. Ever so slightly. Alright, the next base is actually a cave base, or uh, arch base, if you do want to say so. And this one, I, I choose this one because it's very secure. You're gonna see why, because I decided to enter this one. That was the only fair, <gasps> fair way of... Uh, rule. I broke my own rule. <laughs> there we have the sleeper. And as you can see, he has a ton of space in here. He can uh, farm his uh, pumpkins and stuff. And here's his main loot room, of course. Oh, that's pretty decent as a cave base goes. It looks familiar. I think that's the one me and Bumbo tried to raid. No, um, it can't be. Can't be. It's not. I did check that base out, and that was not that base. Oh my god. What do we say here, except for compound? Does he even sleep? Do they <laughs> sleep? I think uh, this is a base that belongs to three people. I could only find three sleepers, so uh, it's not even a four-man group. 
bullshit. Someone's abusing that rule. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking insane. Where did they get all those metal frags from? There is a golden rule on the server, or a, not a golden rule, more like a guideline that you could follow to get a lot of metal frags. But we're not gonna spoil that for anyone. If they don't wanna tell it, well, explore. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Pay admins. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Next base is chosen because of their unique entrance. This is really, oh, really cool. I like that. That's the entrance, and as you can see, they tried to build a fence around the base as well. They didn't get that far. Uh, I don't know if it's decay or if uh, if they just decided to stop playing after a while. I like it. On a snowy day, you can slide down the roof. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's okay. I, I actually like that. They've gone for something different. I've never actually seen a base using a roof. I've seen it before, but to see it on this server is kind of unique. Mm. Especially since they actually made it in metal as well. But this is what they were going for to actually surround the base before they stopped for whatever reason. Maybe they were late into the or something. I don't know. I'd have loved to see that finish, what their idea was. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that, that's a really cool base. Mm. All right, moving on to the next one. This one is actually a little special because uh, I'm going to show it to you guys in the end of the tour here. But as you can see, he's used all the resources he have to just clutter up the outside and uh, built a wall around it with barricades and uh, uh, those uh, spiky thingies, wooden barricades. There we go. So mm -hmm. it's nothing really special about it. It they have they've used all the materials they have, as you can see on the base. It's wood, it's stone, it's metal, it's a shop front. Um, that's what we like to see use whatever you have so i would bet this is a player that haven't really played that much he only played a couple of hours but this is why i wanted to show it to you guys he built as remote as he could he is so far away from everyone else so he haven't even no one even attempted to raid him what the hell is, now that is phallic you I'm, even tell me that's not trying to look like a cock clarify i'm not cock crazy i just like cock shaped faces but come on this this base is 100% metal from what I saw. Yeah, that's... I like their uses of roofs. Must be a nightmare in doors, though. <laughs> Most likely. What's that? That door probably leads to ladder hatches, do you think? And just up, 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 and then roof camp? Most likely. Uh, this won't be possible in the future, as you will see in the change log later. But, uh, yeah, I really like this base. Mm. The shape of it, because it's, it's SARS. Ooh, nice tree. And uh, that's actually the last base we have this week. If your base wasn't in this video, make a cool looking base and don't let it decay until next week, because we're doing this at the end of the wipe. Alright, I want to thank Banana Duck for joining me in the base tours, but it's time for the patch notes now. These patches will be live as soon as the server wipes today on the 3rd of August. So to begin with, uh, we're gonna increase the spawn rate of boonies and beanies. We're gonna slightly decrease the spawn rate on the custom SMGs. We are going to one week wipes. This is one of the biggest changes we're doing this week. We're not gonna have two week wipes anymore. One week wipes. On top of that, you're gonna save your coins for every normal wipe until it's a forced wipe. You can literally save up all your coins that you got from picking up scrap until the last week of the wipe if you feel like it. Uh, we have a new info rules splash screen when you connect to the server. Everything that you need to know is listed on that. Uh, so there's not going to be any more troubles about what is a group and uh, things like that. There is no, no interpretation of your own group system. That's taken from the Oxford's English Dictionary, so uh, obey by it. It's up to you now to click I agree. That means you have read it and you have no defense afterwards. Uh, we have nerfed ladder hatches, so uh, they're going to spawn a little bit less. Uh, we're gonna keep updating our profanity filter, and that's what you see on the server when someone says lovely person. If someone abuses that and tries to get around it, take a screenshot, tell an admin, and we'll deal with it. We have nerfed the semi-pistol spawn, we have added the Python revolver to military crates, but a very low percentage, because they are still quite OP. We have buffed the boots, pants, and gloves, so you can find them much easier now. We did add in small planters this week, but they have a very low spawn rate. We have nerfed the pistol bullet you can find in a month. We added bear rugs to the loot. There is even barrels now that you can smack and get 50 to 100 wood. It's about a medium percentage on that. And high external wooden walls are now added to the airdrops. 
bolt action rifles doesn't spawn with 36 ammo anymore. <laughs> if you happen to find a semi-auto rifle, you are gonna get a little more bullets now than you got before, so you're gonna have a full map. The wooden armor drop rate has been increased. Four times scopes are now removed. Code locks are slightly buffed, so they should be a little bit easier to find. And as I mentioned earlier, scrap stays in your bank until a forced wipe. And uh, that's all for this week. If you want to suggest something, go ahead and do that on Discord. And we have a channel that is called Terminus Suggestions. We go through it every Tuesday, Wednesday. It all depends on how much time we have, but before the actual wipe. And uh, we do a stream. Uh, we had a lot of people join in the last time. Perfect. Because people can say their opinion. We can discuss it with the actual players. That's perfect. So every change we do is actually discussed with the player base. So uh, yeah, that's all for the patch notes and uh, the updates. Have a fun wipe guys and I'll uh, probably see you in game. Ciao!